Charlotte Chicago-based Peace League is taking a unique approach to interrupting violence. The One City Basketball League combines the thrill of competitive basketball with programming that builds critical life skills. Yeah, now they're kicking off their third season in Joakim Noah and Kobe Williams. Join us with more. Guys, thanks for How being here. How are you doing? Thanks good. for having us. Good. Welcome back to Chicago, yes. Joakim. <laughs> yeah, it feels oh good to be gosh, here. Oh my gosh, we're excited to have yeah. you. Now, Kobe, I know you had a book signing last night, but Joakim, yes. you were over at the United Center for the DNC. How did it feel to be back? I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm hurting today. Oh. Uh, it, was, it was a long <laughs> night. It was, it was a big night for the Democrats, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this partnership. You have uh, your own foundation, Noah's Ark Foundation, and then you also have your own uh, way of giving back as well. Yes. How did this collaboration get together? Yes, you want to start off? <laughs> yeah, I'll start off. First of all, this is a, a brother. This We've been working together mm -hmm. for uh, almost 15 years. Um, you know, we always came up with ideas and, you know, we started this, this league at St. Sabina with uh, Father Flager in the South Side. And, you know, we, now we have our own league called One City. We're working with 28 violence prevention groups. And it's just such a blessing to be able to keep doing it and, you know, working closely with Kobe Williams, who is somebody that I trust, who's been doing unbelievable yeah. work in the city for a long for time. A long time. Yeah. But Kobe, what I love about this is this all came from a tweet. Yes. Right? Your <laughs> yes. whole partnership. Yes. Um, Joe King here saw the documentary I was featuring mm -hmm. years and years ago by Alice Kotlowicz and Steve James called The Interrupters. And he sent a tweet, say, this is a must-see documentary. Everybody need to watch it. So when I saw the tweet, I say, man, thank you for watching my movie because I tweeted back to him. Then he said, if anything, I could do Kobe to help. And he put his phone number in there. I said the United Nations screen in the interrupters then. And he said, mm -hmm. I say, 646, I say, who is this? He said, that's your boy, Joe King Noah. <laughs> so built from there, that following week, met at PF Change with about 20, I mean, at first me and him met, and yeah. he just like, I want to get involved, man. I play for the Chicago Bulls, this is my obligation. I want to use my platform to do something great. I love it. I can just picture you two eating over orange chicken at the PF Chang's, planning big. And he's the only person I ever met on Twitter, so <laughs> there don't, don't get There's not a whole ideas. list of people. Exactly. Basically, Joy Kim is saying, don't uh, DM him, okay? <laughs> yeah, this is not, not going to happen. Exactly. It worked yeah. one time. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, Kobe, what do you got in your hands right there? So, right now, I got in my hands. It's a book that's made USA Today bestseller called the Interrupting Violence. Mm -hmm. It's about my life story growing up on the south side of Chicago in the Inglewood and the Auburn Gresham community. But this is really, I want this book to get out there. It's not just about um, interrupting violence, but it's also about second chances. You know, I was incarcerated before, and I know a lot of brothers and sisters who's doing this work out here every day. They don't get recognized because of their background, but I want people to know you can redeem yourself. Redemption is real. So I want people to know it ain't how you start, it's how you finish, and I want people not to always look down on brothers and sisters who've been incarcerated that we making a change. So this book talk about, I want this book to be able to inspire your people, to let people know, man, you're not alone. You ain't out there by yourself. And just show them it's not to give up. Because a lot of times when you come home for prison, if, if you don't succeed in the first 60 days, you could go back to your old ways. And I want people to know violence is a learned behavior. You learned it. Mm -hmm. And you have such a great personal story, and I think that's what a lot of people connect mm -hmm. with, that you're trying to help, really. Can you talk about the basketball program and what you guys are really trying to do at its essence? I mean, I think the, this basketball program right now is what gets me out of bed. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so passionate about it. We talk about it with Kobe every day on how we can make it better. Um, and, you know, and this is really all Kobe's relationship, so it speaks volumes on who he is. You know, a lot of people... You know, obviously Chicago is an unbelievable city, but it's also a very divided city in the neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. So to be able to bring 28 different sections of the city together in one gym, it's, it's as powerful as it gets. And some of the work, the work that we've been doing with Kobe is probably more powerful than the work that we even did uh, with the Chicago Bulls. Wow. For people may, that may not understand, I mean, how does playing basketball how, how do these series of games actually interrupt violence for people that maybe are, are questioning that? Well, I, I think, first of all, can you imagine having to see guys that you might have issues with on the street, but you have yeah. to see each other every Saturday? So organically, I feel like that's a, that's a beautiful, a very powerful way. And sports is a, a unifier, mm -hmm. you know? And um, 
So organically, all those things happen through the sports. But, you know, obviously this is much bigger than just a basketball league. This is also a, a place where we uh, have workshops for our kids where they can learn financial literacy yes. and uh, empower them through um, financial literacy, job education, yeah. job opportunities. So we're, we're, we're growing, you know, we're, 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 we look at this as, as a startup and not just a, a nonprofit, but something where we can really empower yes. the young men. Basketball being such a small <clears throat> part of it at that point when it's right. so much yeah. bigger than that. What are you hearing from the kids? Right, so like you're saying, basketball is really just a hook, right. just to get them there. And once we get in there, like you say, the workshops is the most important part. But one thing else is helpful too, the kids get $50 a game. Mm -hmm. So to pay the, to the players, the coaches, the assistant coaches and all that. And I remember, um, I don't know if Joe King remember, but I remember when he came um, months ago to the game and he was walking around and some of the players was just talking to him. They was like, Joe King, man, this $50 is a lot. So a lot yeah. of them, you know, got kids now and they say, man, they could get their kids pampers, milk and all that. And some of the kids come to me, he's like, man, Kobe, we save our $50 for four weeks. We could get a new pair wow. of gym shoes. But the most important thing with one of them say, when they talk about um, the money is good, but we build a relationship with people who we thought was our opposition, who I was enemy and all that. Now some of them playing on the same team and all that. Now when they see them in the neighborhood, oh man, he all right. She, you know what I'm saying? So it's just really building with each other. So we help them change their mindset. We help them change their thinking. And they know now, man, we are part of one city. So when they recognize people from one city, you could be on the north side, the east yeah. side, west side. Oh, we're part of one city. Oh man, Lee, we right. ain't on that, man. We right. on something different. Uh, Oh, it's Love such it. important work yes. you guys are doing. Kobe, thank you so much. Joaquin, congratulations yes. to you as well. Just yep. saw that you posted you're having a baby soon. Mm -hmm. Your wife is yes. having yes. a baby. Yeah, wife is having a baby. Congratulations. We're, we're pregnant. We're yeah. pregnant. Yeah. We appreciate <laughs> all the work you do in Chicago and that yes. you haven't forgotten about the city right. that, I mean, you heard it. So many people said, he's my favorite bull of all time. <laughs> so there you go. Thank you so much. For more information, head to onecitybball.com. Also find them on Instagram. All the information there on your screen.